expels, or as one nail by strength drives out another, so the remembrance of my former love is by a newer object quite forgotten. Is it mine eye, Valentine's praise, true perfection, or my false transgression that makes me reasonless to reason thus? She is fair, and so is Julia, their love, I did love, for now my love is thawed, which, like a waxen image against a fire, bears no impression of the thing it was, so methinks my zeal for Valentine is cold, and that I love him not as I was wont. Oh, but I love his lady too, too much, and that's the reason I love him so bitterly. How shall I dote on her with more advice that thus, without advice, begin to love her? Tis but a picture I've yet beheld, and may not have dazzled my reason slight. But when I look on her perfections, there is no beauty, and I shall be blind. If I can check my erring love, I will. If not, to compass her, I'll use my skill tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. It creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays blighted fools the way to dusty death. Out. Out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying 